Welcome back to the competitive Switch Sports Golf grind. Now I'm going to let you in on a little secret. I am not ending this video until I hit S6. Now you saw I'm in S5. You also saw there is an S7 player in this lobby. There are a bunch of other low S ranked players. This is going to be a competitive match. I'm expecting it to be very close. It's going to be tough to get the win in a lobby with a lot of players who are pretty decently skilled. But a win here is going to be some good rank, so let's get right to it. Nice shot. Okay, so I was flip-flopping between backspin, no backspin there. I think in the end, no backspin was the play. Because I had the power pretty well, I kind of landed in line with the hole here. And sinking a nice bird in hole 11 with a little bit of tricky wind. And I noticed just at the end there, we did have one disconnection. I don't know who that was and what rank they were. Uh, I know that the victory guy, he was the S7 player, so we got to watch out for him. And I think, well, I don't actually know who the other uh, lower S ranked players were, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter because my goal, my mandate today is just to win no matter people's ranks. So moving on to hole 12 here, it looks like we have... Well, when I'm aiming at the shortcut, it'll be a tailwind slash crosswind. And I do think that spoon actually would be enough power here. Might go driver, though, just a little bit under full power. Nice shot. So I think that power was a bit more than spoon, but obviously a bit less than full power driver. And, okay, I miscalculated the wind, but... Bounced on the, the the out of bounds there, which actually slowed me down. So, so long as this tree right up ahead doesn't get in my way, I'm fine. But I don't know if it will. That would be unfortunate if it did. Nice shot. Ooh, okay, so... Nice the tree didn't get in my way, obviously, and we landed on the green, so good good shot there. I don't know what to say about that bounce, though. We did bounce incredibly far. Like It was like a 60-foot bounce, which you don't normally see, so I guess the wind was just... It was either the wind or just the position that I bounced on the fairway sent me pretty far. But it's not too big of a deal there. It was birdie on 12. I know there were some eagles, but with three holes left, we can still definitely make a comeback. And yeah, it looks like we're only down four points to one player. I'm pretty sure he was S3 or something. I can't quite remember, but like I said, three holes left still to make up a four-point comeback. It's very possible. I'm actually tied with the S7 player as well, so... I guess... The good news is that I'm not trailing him because obviously it's more difficult to make a comeback against someone who is higher ranked than you. But anyway, hole 7 here. A very, very minimal wind. So I'm going to adjust just a little bit to the, the left. Actually, a bit more than a little bit because I know the wind will push me. And then I think if I'm rolling on the green, it'll uh, push me a bit to the right as well. Nice shot. Ah, perfect. That is the best possible way I could have made up for what happened last hole, the missed eagle. It was perfect adjustment. I read the wind and the green quite well. Some good power there. Ooh, a little bit sketchy. Bounced a little bit around off the pin, off the hole, but in the end, very nice chip and eagle there. And what a way 
to get myself back in the game, tied for first place. Thankfully, I didn't need all three holes to do it, but I'm still tied for first. We've got two more holes. On to hole eight, another tricky hole. We gotta make sure that uh, we maintain our first place position, even if it's tied. So we're gonna have to focus up here on hole eight, a tricky hole with the tricky green. Make sure we get the birdie. I do not like this pin position whatsoever. If I go backspin, I fear that I will spin too aggressively off the green and back onto the fairway. If I don't go backspin, I fear I would go too far past the hole. So I think I'm leaning towards no backspin, but I should have to get really good power here. Looks like S7 players in the water. That's unfortunate. Because I think he was only one point out of a, an advancing position. So I think his game's done, unfortunately. Unfortunately for him, not for me, though. Yeah, I guess it's fortunate for me, or good for me, because that means I'll beat him and gain the rank off of that. But uh, there we go, you kind of saw what happened there. Bounced, rolled, rolled past the hole there. Ooh, once again, is it the same thing that happened on hole 12? Time's up. Time's up. Wait a second, why the heck does that guy have more time than me? I literally just ran out of time and this guy is still golfing. That is the most ridiculous thing that has ever happened to me in Switch Sports Golf. Let me tell you, there have been a lot of ridiculous things that have happened to me. That is the craziest thing that's ever... That... I... I'm pissed. I'm actually so pissed right now. That is so ridiculous. Nice shot. That literally doesn't make any sense. How can you give one player a set amount of time and another player more time to finish the exact same hole? It literally makes no sense. Not to mention, it's not even the full allotted time. Like literally the other the last two videos ago, I got DC'd because my controls, my Joy-Con was idle for like 30 seconds. You don't even get the full amount of time. But they're not even, they're, they're giving me like less time than somebody else. That is, I'm actually so heated right now. You can't tell me this isn't true. It's like so accurate right now, it's not even funny. I did say at the beginning of the video, it would not end until I reach S6. And uh, I will stick by that. I may have to pull something cheeky out of my sleeve which uh, isn't something I've ever explained on this channel before, so depending on how these next few games go, you may see something a little bit crazy. Okay, so it 
we have an S6 player and three other lower S ranked players. So at least this game, similarly to last game, I uh, have a good chance at a rank game. I will say I, I always, always play worse when I'm like annoyed at the game, slightly raging like I am now. We gotta try to forget about that. I. It's just gonna like make my performance way worse. So have to forget about what happened last game. I think. Uh, yeah, if I want to win, it's... I'm gonna have to focus up. That's for sure. Now I already made a mistake by going under three dots on the three iron, off stroke one, because now I can't use the three iron. I mean, could I? I think I would be in the water, so I have to go spoon here. But pin's on the near side, so and I can't use backspin on the spoon. So as soon as it hits the ground, it's just going to roll past the hole. Okay, I... Did not mean to curve the shot, but it didn't matter anyway. Power... Suki. I'm in shambles right now. I'm absolutely, positively in shambles. Two more DCs. I'm pretty sure that when somebody DCs in an online lobby and you win, you would still get the rank as if you beat them normally. At least that is my understanding. I think at the end of this game, when I win, we will find out. Uh, we can just kind of judge how much rank I get. And yes, I did say when I win. I have such a burning hatred for this hole right now. Dude, what's with people and going in the water on hole 8? I, I I, don't think it's that difficult to not go in the water on hole 8. I literally come within like 2 feet of the hole and I backspin onto the fringe. Yet there are times where I will stop swinging my Joy-Con so like close to my hips or behind to get aggressive backspin and it just doesn't register. That performance last game was my fault entirely, but I would like to say I was so rattled at what happened in the first game that I strongly believe that, uh, I don't know, I wasn't able to focus after being absolutely clapped by Nintendo last game. Anyway, I don't know who this that Infinite 4 player is, the bird, which is funny because I, I think I know almost every Infinite player or most of them or I've seen them around, but I don't know who that bird is, Infinite 4. I think depending on how this game goes, I'll probably leave a lot more of the time spent like adjusting for my shots. I usually edit most of that out because I take a while, but I think, like I said, depending on how this game goes, if it's pretty intense and like a really high level match, I'll leave most of the actual whole time in and I'll just edit like this stuff out, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, 
Good birdie in hole four. I think most people got birdie, I would assume. It was tough wind, but not that tough. You just go like five iron a bit over full power. Huh? Five iron a bit over full power. Backspin, it's safe enough. So tied first with the infinite player and the other high S ranks. All right, we'll see how this tailwind is going to affect the shot. I need... Actually, it shouldn't be that bad, because I think I can just... Well, I don't know, maybe three dots on the five. I really don't want to clip the tree. A little bit more at backspin, I think. Nice shot. I'm disgusted right now. I'm actually so disgusted. It's obviously a skill issue, but it's also if what happened in the first game just threw me off my game so much. Uh, let me just explain two things. The first, or the second game, or second game of the video, the first one where I got eliminated first round. I was mad about the backspin because of how inconsistent it is. It's uh, like I don't know if anybody can get consistent backspin or if it's actually just like the game mechanics are trash that's what I was annoyed about the first game partly a skill issue partly I think an issue on the game part and then the second game I was mad well no skill issue again because I hit the tree but I was mad at the macro putt which I'll just explain briefly what that is there's a glitch in the game or a bug called the micro putt where if you're putting from very, very short distance um, and you get like normal power on your practice swing, come your real swing, you will uh, like get such little power in a way that would never be possible if you tried. It's a complete glitch. It happens to like pretty much every player in the game. So what often tends to happen is you try to overcompensate for the micro putt glitch and then you end up doing a macro putt, which is what I did there. So, this is just me coping with the fact that uh, I'm bad, but I mentioned like maybe a few minutes ago that I had a cheeky trick up my sleeve, and I'm going to show you that right now. It's a way to trivialize the Nintendo matchmaking system, so I'll see you in game number four, where I will explain what's going on. Alright, so let me explain to you what's going on. Take a look at this lobby. We have S9, S7, 5, Four, no, six, five, five. I had to get closer to my screen to read. But this is extremely rare in Switch Sports Golf. If you've watched any, even one, of my videos in the past or you play this game yourself, you know that most lobbies are with 
A ranks or lettered ranks, maybe you get one or two low S ranked players. But almost every lobby you get just in a normal game, it will be the players will be less ranked than you. So if you win, you only gain a tiny bit of rank, and if you lose, you lose a lot of rank. That's just how the matchmaking system works in the game. Uh, every game is like high risk, low reward. Nice shot. Now what I've done is I've actually coordinated with all of these players who are higher ranked to attempt to get into the same match as them. So we would count down and press search at the same time. Nice shot! Let me pause for a second and just say this is the micropuck glitch I was talking about like a couple minutes ago. That power would never be possible if I attempt to get that little power. It's something I've reached out to Nintendo about to try to get fixed. It hasn't been fixed. The micropuck glitch affects everyone, like even the best players. You can, I'm sure if you watch streams or games from like Royce or Alnick, you will see the micropuck as well. But back to the story. Uh, yeah, you can, like, snipe other players on, uh, if you watch, like, Ricardo's streams or Alnick's streams, what they'll do is they'll sometimes count down to coordinate games. You can do it in Discord server as well. Uh, I guess I'll leave a link to the server down in the, the description. But what this allows me to do is trivialize the matchmaking system so that I get, uh, like, low-risk, high-reward games, if that makes sense. So, a win in this lobby, I would gain a ton of rank. And a, a loss in this lobby, I wouldn't lose that that much, which is like the complete opposite of normal a normal game. Nice shot. So that's what I've decided to do today, and what I may continue to do uh, on the road to infinity. But anyway, now that I've explained to you what's going on, let's get back to the golf. I'm still quite rattled at what has happened earlier in this video, but, well, and then that freaking micro putt. It doesn't get better. It does not get better. I'm going to try to perform. Obviously, when you do what I'm doing right now, try to get into high rated lobbies, you obviously have to play very well if you want to win because everybody's so good. Um, so I got to make sure I can do that today. All right, so because of my uh, whole eight woes, I won't be in first, but I'll be uh, tied for third. Only three points down. Do you remember the first game that we played? It feels so long ago right now, but it was four points down going into the semis. I had a very nice chip, so a three-point comeback is very possible. Let's see if we can make that happen here. Moving on to hole one here. Probably... Well, no, it is the worst possible hole that we could have gotten uh, since I'm in need of a comeback. Because it's probably just going to be birdies from everyone, so it effectively reduces my comeback chances to two holes. But it's really good if you're in a lead, so it's kind of like, like if I was in a lead, I would be so happy to get this hole. Nice 
All right, birdies all around, except for Ben with the clutch chip in eagle there. So he's pretty much secured first, I think at this point. It's a fight for second. It's a fight for the title of first loser. On to three here. Not the best pin position. But I'm not going to rule the chip in out just yet. I'm thinking, like, the correct adjustment for the slight hill that uh, the hole is after. And we could just get a nice bounce and roll right into the hole. Just looking at the topography. If you know what I mean? Nice shot. It was close, but I think you saw I was rolling to the right there, but I guess just needed a little bit less adjustment. And so I think we'll still be tied for third going into the final hole. And you know what? Like, all around, this has been a pretty bad performance. I'm on 37 after four. But just considering how the last two games have gone, I would consider this a win. And it's a good... Like I did say at the beginning of the video, this wouldn't end until I get S6. And that still stands, so this is a good stepping stone to get back. Uh... Of course we get hole 10, first of all. I just finished saying hole 1 and hole 10, because they're kind of the same, is like the worst hole to get when you're in a comeback, or you need a comeback, so of course we get them both in the same game. But uh, yeah, I think just making it to the final, as sad as it sounds, is a good... Uh... It's a step up for my last two games, and a good, uh, good progression for starting to perform better, making sure we can get to S6 by the end of the video. Nice shot. I really don't know how long this uh, is going to be in the end. So my only chance here at stealing second would be a chip-in. Otherwise it'll be a tie for third. No, not not really close there. Nice one. I did see Tony get the par there. I don't know what happened. Maybe he lift or micro putt, but I'll be tied for second actually in the end. And let me tell you, if I tied for second in a normal lobby, I would be losing rank, uh, like a decent amount of rank. But tying for second here, I don't think I will. I think I'll uh, I. Will at least stay the same. I might even gain. We will find out shortly. But well done to Ben, though. Seven point victory. Very, very convincing. And. I, yeah, I'm not happy with my performance. I guess it was a micro pup, but still. There it is. We actually gained, even though we tied for seconds. So this is what I'm talking about with these lobbies and the trivialization of the matchmaking system. But I'm going to try to snipe some players again, and I'll see you guys in the next game. All right, back for the next game. Shout out to Ben for reaching infinity rank after that clutch performance. This is what I'm talking about. One infinity player, the rest S players. Listen to this, I... These are the lobbies that uh, you wanna get in when you're playing this game. Now, I can't remember how many points we had on game three, but obviously we had more points last game and I'm an attempt to get more points this game so i want to get over 47 that would be moving in the right direction obviously nice shot now zero win 16 we're just gonna thread the needle of trees right into the bunker and uh it's not dead aim on this pin position with zero wind the ball is gonna bounce to the left when it hits the green the question is how much
Ah, perfect. Had the adjustment quite well, and I will admit, actually, I was way more to the right, but after I saw uh, that other guy, I think his name's Cappuccino or something, he, I watched his ball roll on the green and it actually didn't go that far to the left. So I made a last minute adjustment to, to the left, and it actually ended up paying off. So patience there. I was uh, watching other players take their shot that in the end helped me out. So, two eagles there. I, I can't say I'm surprised it was zero wind, but a great way to start off this match in what is an even better lobby than last game. So, on to 17 we go. Looks like there's some crosswind. Not a fan of this hole. It's kind of, I don't know if it's glitched or if it's, you need perfect power, but you know what I mean. You often get that launch roll when you uh, hit the green, so I'll see if I can avoid that this time. Okay, well, I did get the launch roll, you saw that there, but thankfully the pin slowed me down, but also not thankfully, because I'm pretty sure I had like perfect aim there for the hole in one, but I just bounced out, so that is, that's unfortunate, I, I will say. Well, good save, at least. I couldn't secure the hole-in-one, but at least I got the birdie, so I will be at 24 instead of 21. Three-point lead over the rest of the lobby. Saying goodbye to Brandon and Noel. I think she went out of bounds on hole 16, which is unfortunate. Wow, are you kidding me? Well, I guess... That was my fault, that wasn't like a game. That wasn't like last hole. I had too much power there, so... I, uh, I had good aim, but the too much power obviously bounced and hit the pin. So I'm not gonna blame that on a... A glitch or something like last hole, that was just my bad. But I do like the way I'm playing right now. I, this game has been levels above last game and just infinitely better than those previous two games. So I like where this is headed. If you're enjoying this insane roller coaster of a video, hit the like button. And let's take a look here where we have two more holes left and I still have a three point lead. So a one stroke cushion, but in a lobby such as this, your lead can disappear in just one hole, so I have to continue to play very well. This kind of looks like actually eagleable wind. Uh, 13 mile an hour. It might be actually. Let's see. Nice shot. I'm not sure if the wind's going to be enough to carry us onto the green. If it does, it's like we're putting for an eagle, but even if it doesn't, we'll be really close, like maybe on the fringe. And then that could set us up for a chip in. Pin's not in the worst position. Nice shot. Okay, so I was wondering if Albatross was possible. Looks like wouldn't have been enough power to get the Albatross, but we are on the green and we are putting for an eagle. Very nice eagle, level five. And a really nice dunk by Ben. I wish we could see the replay of people's chips as we're spectating, because I'm pretty sure that was just like a clean switch. Yeah, you know the lobby's good when there are four out of five eagles on full five. So Cappuccino, who got the nice uh, eagle on 16, unfortunately eliminated. And listen, I don't want to 
pump my tires too much, but Eagle on 16, Eagle on 5, hit the pin for a hole in one on both 17 and 4. It's been a pretty good game so far. I have a four point lead, so like even if I get par, everyone else gets birdie, uh, I would still win. I'm not going for that, obviously. I would like to get a clean 58 point performance, but it's a special hole with tricky win, so we'll see what we can do here. One nine one. I do wonder if we can yards. That is one nine one yards. Uh, I do wonder. I'm just like throwing up gang signs, gang numbers. One nine one. No, I do wonder if we can three iron though. I will be going for it because we also have a little bit of a tailwind, slightly. Okay, nice. nice song. It didn't get the backspin there, but it did slow my ball down, which is was necessary. Or I would have just flown right off the green. Okay, that's uh, not even close, but it's fine. I was saying at the beginning, uh, like birdie par situation, I'll still win. How is that possible? How is that literally possible? Why the hell would Nintendo? There's so there is so many glitches in this game. That the micro putts the most annoying, but there are more glitches in this game. Let me show you actually a clip or three clips from Clam, who is one of the best golfers in the world. He saw or he found a glitch in hole seven. I'll show that right now. Nice shot. But that's just another example. There's glitches on every hole. Why the hell is this, did Nintendo release this game with glitches and not fix it? Like, it's how long has golf been out for now? Like, eight months? And I think I just said this earlier in the video. I've reached out to them and told them about the, the glitch. I Listen, I would have won by one point. We would have been tied on strokes. I've said this before, I don't like winning or losing by one point because you're tied on strokes. But it is the way that the game is set up, and it would have been a win nonetheless. And I came third because of the glitch. I'm probably... Well, I might gain rank, I don't know. I just gained... Whatever that was. 0 0.2, 0 0.1 of a bar for coming third. 
I would have been like at the top of S5 with a win there with no glitch. I'm I should not be playing right now. This is when I start to lose the most rank, when I'm compromised because I'm angry or on a tilt. But here we are, continuing to play. Eh. The video is not ending until I reach S6. If it takes me three hours, then uh, that's what we'll do. Nice shot. So with pin position on the left on hole 10, I think you have to adjust to the left. A couple ticks, the wind is maybe going to move me one tick to the left, so I'll just go two, I think. The thing is, when it's in the back left, you have to adjust left, so I don't know if we land on the fairway if it's going to be the opposite, but I will find out here. Uh, I was right. You have to adjust left. But I seemingly adjusted one tick too much as I lip out of the chip and eagle on hole 10. Unfortunately, no 14 points, but it's good to know, I guess. Eh, I will write that down in my notes and just remember that for next time. Anytime it's hole 10, pin on the front left, you got to adjust left. Maybe only two ticks, though, because seemingly I adjusted too much. All right, a bit too ambitious there on the power. No worries. Birdie. Hole 11. And I can't remember exactly what the ranks of everyone in the lobby were. I know Moon and Tony Tiger were like high, mid-high ranked S players. And they're two of the players that I found twice in a row now. Hole 4, we go with... I don't even feel that I'm playing like that bad. Like sure I had those two games where I got eliminated uh first round, but like had that chip on seven first game, had Eagle on 16, five last game, very close to hole in ones on four seventeen last game, the lip on ten. Like I feel like I've been playing pretty decent, I just the results have not shown, you know what I mean? I did club up to a three there. Nice I wasn't one. sure with nine mile an hour headwind if five would have been enough, so played it safe, went up to a three, got a okay approach here. Nice and this game so far going by pretty quickly, pretty smooth as well. It's just uh, all tied on 30, except for Kobe. Uh, on 27. Nice shot. A five once again. Unfortunately, this condition, not going to be putting for an eagle. I didn't take a look at the pin position, though, when I was on the tee, so I don't know how attainable the chipping will be. Well, I guess we'll see in a few seconds. Okay, so... Bad pin position. Nice. So probably going to be going to the finals yeah, tied for first, but obviously we're all going to be attempting the eagle. I will try to line it up. This one's tricky though, this eagle position. It's so hard to accurately predict the bounce on the, the green. But we will see. Wow, I did not realize I was so far to the, the left there. The power is fine, so I'm only 10, 11 feet away. Nice 
And the yep, all going to be going into the finals on 40 points. So we'll see what the last hole is. Could be going to a closest to the pin, though. I just realized I don't think I've gotten a first place this entire video. I think is second my best performance. I think it is, actually. It's kind of sad if you think about it. Here we are onto hole nine. It looks like it's a headwind, which it is. So, not have to be any like crazy Eagle Albatross opportunities here, but probably gonna see four birdies, the four way closest to pin. Nice shot. Nice bounce right over the fairway there, so I won't be stuck in the rough. It's gonna be nine mile an hour headwind, and ooh, I don't know if I go backspin or not here. If I go backspin, I risk spinning down the hill off the green. But I don't go backspin, I risk going past the hole. So. Nah, the bounce was a little bit too far left. Nice it did go past the hole. Nice so four-way, CTP is what we're we're going to very consistent performance from the four of us i'm pretty sure the four of us were the highest rated in the lobby so uh, rank wise it makes sense Ooh, it's this one if i had the laughing emote i would this one's not a good ctp it's tricky but uh, i had this one yesterday so Ooh, didn't have this pin position though hmm Three iron, not enough. We're going into the bunker. But spoon, we might be in the bunker too. If we clear the bunker with the driver, we're just going way past the hole. I either have to go around the bunker and try to land on the green, or sail past the bunker and hit the pin to like slow me down. Maybe I can hit the... Might be able to hit the bunker and then... Uh, Roll onto the green. Risky. I got to go for it though. That's looking like a fourth place for this guy. Nope, I somehow managed to steal second, so I guess I'll take it. Finish. Well, again, being in a higher rated lobby, I won't lose any rank for second. I might gain some... Maybe not too much. Tiny bit. We're slowly working my way back to where I was at the beginning of the video before Nintendo decided to obliterate my cheeks, so collect these items. I don't even know what game we're on at this point. Seven, eight, whatever it is, I will see you there. Here we are, still looking for my first first place of the game or the video. 
two S6 players and S5 players, some more low-ranked S players, so again, decent lobby. Haven't seen Ben in a few games, the uh, infinite player. Hopefully we can uh, snipe him again, but we've been on hole 11 with this exact pin position quite a lot this, uh, this video. Once again, we are here, and I think this time I will probably go backspin just because of the, the wind. Did not mean to curve that. Nice. Yeah, I don't think it was too big of a deal. Obviously, if I hadn't curved, that would have been more in line with the hole. Maybe been on less of a side hill here. Nice Looks like uh, the lobby split in half here. Half birdies, half less than birdies. And on to hole 12 we go here. We do have a tailwind. It, I can't tell how strong it looks, but either way we'll be able to make it a shortcut. So 22, I think that I'll probably just go, well, yeah, I'll just go full power spoon. I don't want to mess around with like specific driver power. Nice shot. Ooh, did not mean to go under. That was a bit of a mistake, but we'll still make it. With quite a strong roll. But uh, from here, probably going 5-iron, to be completely honest. With spin, if I go 5-iron with spin, full power. Is that too much, though? Nice shot. Hey, once again, I got like 3.9 nice accident, but it didn't really matter. Because in the end, we have a nice approach for Eagle here. And uh, good 14 points on full 12. So, two other Eagles, it looks like. Noel, and it's a game. So it's a game, still in fourth, I think it was, because uh, I guess I got a bogey on full, uh, 11. But tied for first right now with Noel on 24. We have three holes left. Going to attempt to give myself solo control of first place by the end of it. See what happens though, hole seven. Uh, have we done this twice? This video, one I got an eagle, one I got a par. To be honest with you, like when you play a long session like this, all the games just get like jumbled together, so it's kind of hard to remember exactly what you've done. 216 yards, bit of a headwind. Do think three irons enough? Nice shot. Enough, yes. Nice. One. And enough for the birdie putt. So another nice ten points from seven. And so far, it's uh, it's a pretty close game. On 34, like it's not been easy holes. We had 11 with strong wind, 12 strong wind, and then 7. So we've had to play very, very precise here, and uh, still only tied for first. So on to hole 8, another tricky hole. Uh, gotta focus up here, that's for sure. Ooh, I remember now. Last time we had this, I micro-putted, so... Oh, and the time before that, I ran out of time. Nice song. Hole 8. What a hole, hey?
Wow, that was my chance. I don't know if you saw that just on the left, but Noel got the par, so that was my chance to take first place. Squandered. Hole 8 has done a number on me uh, this game, that's for sure. And yeah, there it is. So still tied for first after, uh, I guess, both of us choked the uh, hole 8. Moon, four points down, and here we are. Is this going to be another CTP? Or is it going to be uh, just straight first, straight second? We'll find out here. Off to a CTP we go. I guess this will be the second CTP of the video, but also two in a row. So we'll see what we get here. Which hole are we going to land on? 16. We're in the rough. And this looks like flat headwind. I think maybe it's pushing us a few ticks to the right. Maybe one. But it depends on the topography of the green as well for the aim. I think I took the L on that one. Just by a little bit. Well, two feet actually wasn't that close. Well done, Noel. Good win. Uh, second for me. I don't know if I'm going to gain rank here. I might. But uh, actually, I shouldn't lose rank, at least. Okay, I... I have no idea how I gained that much rank. I thought the lobby was just like a bunch of mid S-ranked players. Maybe I was mistaken. This is crazy. I haven't had a first place this entire video, and barring those two, uh, like, first round eliminations, I've gained rank. And this is, like, what I've been talking about, about the triviality. Blah, blah. I've been talking for too long. I've been recording for, like, two hours now. This is what I've been talking about for the trivialization of the matchmaking system, so. Anyway, I'm not in S6, so we must carry on. I'll see you in the next game, whatever number game this is gonna be. Alrighty, so another stacked lobby, but uh, still no Ben, the uh, infinite player. I do want to rematch with him because he did beat me once, like, very handily, but the second time, it was... Not to make excuses, but it was because of the glitch, so... I would like to get a rematch in with him. I'd like to take some points off of his infinity rank. But, it's another stacked lobby. We get the rematch with Noel, who just beat me in closest to pin by two feet. So, a couple storylines here. Stack Lobby, rematch. Once again, we're on hole 11. The game just loves hole 11 for some reason. Perfect. We got the wind right, got the power right. It was only two mile an hour, so it wasn't the most difficult, but a very good way to start off the match in a stacked lobby such as this with a nice hole in one on 11. Ooh, barely enough power there, but uh, very nice. We will take that, absolutely. So, mostly birdies there, a few unfortunate pars, but uh, I do hold a four point lead over the lobby because of my hole in one. On to hole 12 here, we have only four mile an hour wind. A pin was at the near side of the green, so we'll have to utilize backspin. I mean, we don't have to, but I will because the bounce on the fairway before the green from this angle is like super aggressive to the right. I don't really want to deal with calculating that, so I think I'll just go backspin.
Nice shot. Ooh. That's not too good. Okay, I was seriously just about to putt that, and uh, changed my mind last minute to a chip. It was obviously the right call because I mm, made the eagle, made the chip in. So on a nice 28 points, I know, I think everybody else in the lobby got the eagle as well. So had I not gotten that, I would have been tied for first, which again, is not the end of the world, but with that chip in, I will be able to maintain my lead. Okay, it was, well, eagles from everyone except Mumster. But uh, unfortunately for Mumster and Parzival, they are eliminated here. Uh, on to hole one we go. Good, well, it's good and bad for me. It's good because I'm in the lead and uh, I will most likely be able to maintain my lead after hole one. But anytime I start a game off with 28 points, I am thinking about a possible world record run, which is 70. My PB is 66. And if you want to get 70, you have to get 5 eagles. Nice shot. Or 3 eagles, albatross, birdie. So getting hole 1 with 20 mile an hour crosswind, not the best for uh, an attempt at a world record. But I should be focusing on my rank right now. And if I'm focusing on my rank, I am happy to see hole 1 with 20 mile an hour crosswind. Ooh, that wasn't too far off, honestly. Nice on. Couple more ticks to the left, that probably would have been the eagle. But selling for birdie here, that's fine, it's enough to maintain my four point lead. One unfortunate par there. The rest birdies on to hold two, so. I don't want to speak too soon because I literally have not gotten a first place this entire video, but if I can hold out, this will be some much needed rank. I don't think it would be enough to rank up to S6, but it would probably get me within like one game or two. Ooh, very, very close there. A few inches to the left. Putting me 16 feet away from the birdie putt. Ooh, wow, very nice hole in one from Sai. I think he was the one who parred last hole, so he needed that to advance. And yeah, wow, that was actually really clutch. With that uh, hole-in-one, he will be advancing to the finals. We are saying goodbye to Crump. I hold a three-point lead now, moving into the finals. So for hole seven, I gotta... If I get birdie here, it'll most likely be a win. If I get par, I might be going to a closest to pin. Looks like we have five-person final, though, in a stacked lobby, so I, I guess I can't be too surprised. It's been a very close game up until now, just two hole-in-ones being the difference maker in... I guess, the points. Shot. All right, that looks like a good enough approach to nice sink a birdie putt. Um, this is micro putt territory for sure. 
It's so random if you get it or not. There's not really a way to combat it. That was a micro putt. Thankfully, I was saved somehow. But uh, we'll take the birdie. We got the first win of the video. We got a win in a stacked lobby. We also got a revenge win against Noel, who beat us last game. So, 58 point performance. I am very satisfied with that one. Let's check the rank here. I'm very curious to see how much we get. You know what? We're a bit higher than I thought we were. So, we might actually rank up to S6. Ah, as close as we could be to S6. Now, I did say this video would end when we get there, so we're going to have to jump into another game here. Alrighty, this is hopefully going to be the last game of the video. Because that means we will rank up to S6. We find another pretty decent lobby. There's three mid S ranked players. We find a Sensei Imposter as well. So this is interesting. I've never found an Imposter in an online lobby before. I uh, am going to make sure that by the end of this lobby, everybody knows who the real one is. Actually, I think he's wearing the pink peacoat suit that I used to wear. But I've decided that I'm not worthy enough of the pink peacoat suit right now because I'm in S5. I think once I hit infinity rank, then I will change my outfit to the pink peacoat suit again. I think it's a celebrity suit, so being in S5 does not warrant me wearing that suit. Well, I think there were three players as five, six, or seven, so... Okay, Sensei 2.0 thinks he's him right now. Bro actually thinks he's him right now. Nice job getting the chip, but uh, four holes left for me to make a four-point comeback. It is going to happen, that's for sure. Uh, I forget what I was saying before he made that chip, though. I think I was talking about everyone's ranks, maybe. But yeah, a win even second here could may probably rank me up to S6, because I... I'm literally so close. Nice shot. I think full seven is appropriate here with nine mile an hour headwind. Actually, really good power. Nice on. Boy, was I worried about the micro putt there. And then when I hit it with over a dot, I was worried about the macro putt. But uh, a good birdie sink nonetheless. Nah, the real sensei wouldn't miss that putt. Well, just about the entire lobby is going to be tied on 20 points. We are all in second. Losing by one point. Technically it's tied on strokes, but uh, we are losing on points. Now, on to hole 10. Eh. Again, with the hole 10 when I'm in need of a comeback. Well, when the entire lobby's in need of a comeback. This time, it's going to be a strong crosswind, which I guess it kind of was last last time on hole 1. Nice shot. Man, that was close. That sure was close. Just needed a tad more adjustment. Or I guess a tad less adjustment for the wind. But it is going to be another birdie. We're still going to be on 30 points here. I'm pretty sure all the... Well, <laughs> it looks like I am tied for first now. This is... <laughs> this is funny, actually. This is really funny. Well, tied for first with Tony Tiger. Uh, 
it's unfortunate for the other players that they DC'd. I hope they didn't lose rank. Because that would be unfortunate. But I think if it's just like an internet connection DC, you don't... Well, I actually don't know. I don't think they lost rank, but it's un unfortunate if they, they did. Especially because we were all tied. The game was up for grabs, except obviously Sensei 2.0 had a one-point lead. Maybe it's a good thing he DC'd, because after I beat him, he would have lost rank. E, once again with a strong, nice. strong backspin on hole 12. A little bit suspect aim there, but the perfect power allowed me to get the eagle, drop in for the uh, nice 14 point putt. So, tied on 44 with one other player, the rest of the lobby non existent, and a two player final. I am curious if I will gain rank off of the players who DC'd. Obviously we'll find out. If I come second here and I gain rank, obviously I w it will be because I beat those other players who DC'd. If I come first, it might be a little bit harder to tell because Tony's a good rank, so I'll gain decent rank from him anyway for first place, but we'll see. I think we can make a, a good assumption once we see what our rank is after this game. That might be a little too much power. I think I'm going to get the roll. Yeah, absolutely. Into the bunker we go. Whatever Tony Tiger did, he didn't get the launch roll, so he has a good chance to steal first here. Well, looks like he missed, so I guess I could steal the win with a chip, or it will be going to a CTP if I miss and putt for a par. Ooh, we did, we did lift the edge there just a little bit. I'm pretty sure this entire green is bugged because if you saw like the speed at which we were going after that chip, which was a wedge chip into a headwind, I don't think we should have had that much speed. Ooh, there it is, Tony Tiger going to take the win. I uh, over adjusted, overcompensated for the. Possibility of a micro putt. I'll be getting a bogey on 17. And we'll find out very shortly if uh, I'll be picking up to S6. It's kind of my fault there, but I was really worried about the micro putt, so I guess the macro putt is just as risky or as possible as the micro. But anyway, second place. If I get ranked from the other players in the lobby, it will be enough to go to S6. And if not, and be doing another game. Well, it looks like I did gain rank off the players who DC'd. Unfortunate, and not really the way I would want to end my uh, S5 rank up journey, but considering how badly Nintendo cheeked me early in the video, I will absolutely take it. We have finally made it to S6 about been like two and a half hours since I started recording. So we'll give a GG's to everybody that we found today. It was a pretty cheeky way to trivialize the matchmaking system. And if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed the competitive lobbies, do hit the like button and I will see you guys in the next video.